hello everyone let's deal with this problem right away solution okay so we have square root of x plus 5 plus square root of x equal to 5 now this is very simple but what we are going to do is to square both sides so I'm going to combine this and square it square root of x plus 5 plus square root of x and I'm going to square this this is equal to 5 then squared what do I do from here remember this a plus b to the power of 2 is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared right so i'm going to apply this same standard now so that my a squared will be square root of x plus 5 then this will be squared that's for a squared then 2ab will now be 2 into bracket square root of x plus 5 then open bracket b which will be square root of x close this then plus i'm going to have plus b squared right and b squared is square root of x so we have square root of x and this will be squared the whole of this is equal to 5 squared okay and 5 squared here is 25 now what can we do from here from here this and this will cancel and we have x plus 5 then plus from here we can equally okay let's go this way we have 2 into bracket square root of x multiplied by square root of x plus 5 right then plus this and this will go and we have x over there this is now equal to 25 now we can continue okay so from here we have x plus 5 plus 2 then let this multiply this right so we have x times x here we have um, square root of x squared then x times 5, we have plus 5x. Then we close this, plus x equal to 25. Now, what should I do from here? From here, we can now add x and x to get 2x, right? Then we have plus 5 minus 25, then plus 2 into what we have there and that is square root of x squared plus 5x this is equal to 0 so that's from here we have 2x minus 20 plus 2 remember we cannot we cannot add this right because this 2 belongs to what we have in the bracket then we have square root of x squared plus 5x and this is equal to 0. Now what do I do? I have to make um, this the subject and to make this the subject I have to remove the whole of this to the other side. So I will have 2 open brackets square root of x squared plus 5x to be equal to this because in fact i'm going to write this first we have 20 and this becomes minus 2x then from here we can now divide both sides by 2 and then divide the whole of this by 2 so that this will go there and we have square root of x squared plus 5x being equal to 2 will go here and we have 10 then minus 2 again will go there and we have just x now we can square both sides again and to square the both sides we'll do this 
and these two will be squared, we have this. Now this and this will be gone. So we are going to have x squared plus 5x being equal to, we open this bracket, right? And like I said, we are going to have 10 squared, then minus 2 multiplied by 10 multiplied by x, then plus then here we are going to have um, x squared right plus x uh, squared so if you expand this this is what you're going to have so x squared plus 5x is equal to 100 minus 20x plus x um, squared now we have the same thing on both sides of the equation this and this will be gone so that we can now collect like terms as we have 5x, then this comes here, it becomes plus 20x, and this is equal to 100, right? Now, from here, what can we do? Add this up, and we have 25x, which will be equal to 100. Now, divide both sides by the coefficient of x, which is 25. So we have this. And over there, we have 25 as well. Let's continue. Okay, so 25 into 25 will give us x. And this will be equal to 100 divided by 25. And that is giving us 4. So this means that the value of x in the equation is 4. But then we have to confirm. What is even the equation? The equation is square root of x plus 5 plus square root of x equal to 5. Now, let's put 4 into this equation. Remember, we are trying to confirm our answer. We have square root of 4 plus 5 plus square root of 4. The question is, will this give us 5? Let's keep going. To deal with this, we are going to have square root of 9 plus square root of 4. Now, some persons will say this is the same thing as square root of 13 because they would add this and this, but that is wrong. You cannot add them, but thank God both of them are perfect squares. So, square root of 9 is 3 plus square root of 4. Square root of 4 is 2, and this is giving us 5. Okay, um, let me write it well. This is giving us 5. And um, this is the 5. Remember, it is 5 we had on the right-hand side of the equation. So we are very correct to say that the value of x is 4. Thank you for watching.